Idaho Fish and Game presents Vintage Wildlife News, stories from the Great Gem State. The salmon trap on Elk Creek is a quiet place 11 months out of the year. It comes into its own during July. The brief period of activity begins with the arrival of the first salmon on their way to the spawning grounds. From somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, up the wide Columbia to the snake, up the snake to the salmon, and finally up Elk Creek and into the trap is a long way. On their month-long trip to spawn, the silvery color of the Chinook changes to a dull gray or brown. They become bruised and battered, and their fins are shredded against the rocks. They never eat again after leaving the salt water of the ocean. The swimming between the wings of the trap are gathered in a seine. The lot of the salmon has been made harder by dams placed across his path. Dams which not only impede upstream movement, but are a hazard to the downward migration of the young salmon. Female fish whose eggs are not ready for spawning are known as green salmon. They and most of the male fish are turned loose to continue upstream to their natural spawning grounds. The Chinook is the largest of the salmon. They average 22 pounds, but individual fish weigh much more. The scale of a salmon shows a group of rings for each year of growth, becoming larger as the body of the fish grows. When salmon at last reach their goal and their eggs are deposited, they die. The trapped females are killed before their eggs are taken. The eggs are taken to hatcheries, and the next spring, young fish are released. Instinct sends the salmon back to the same river down which he traveled as a year-old fish. Planting the young fish in depleted rivers and streams is bringing them back. This edition of Vintage Wildlife News has been presented by the Idaho Department of Fish and Game.